Welcome back. Now news from sports. Former champions Dempo Sports Club consolidated their lead at the top by beating Mohan Bagun by three goals to one in the I League. India striker Sunil Chetri scored a brace to guide Arman Kulaso's side to a comfortable victory at Nehru Stadium in Fatoda on Tuesday. Dempo are now four points clear from second place Muslipar Churchill Brothers. Home side Dempo Sports Club came into this crunch match against Kolkata Giants Mohan Bagan after having been held to a goalless draw by East Bengal in their last match. Mohan Bagan, on the other hand, were looking to bounce back after a shock defeat to Salgaonkar Sports Club in their previous encounter. The first half was largely a midfield affair between leaders Dempo and title contenders Mohan Bagan. As a result, no team was successful in breaking the deadlock. Dempo suffered a blow in the 52nd minute when defender Mahesh Gauli aggravated his hamstring problem and had to be replaced. The match sprung to life in the second half when Dempo winger Niklao Borges applied a cool finish to put his team up by a goal in the 58th minute. The response from the visitors was instant as just two minutes later Suyoka Ruji netted Bagan's equaliser. Dempo piled pressure on the rival defence in the final quarter of the match when India international striker Sunil Chetri got into the act and knocked off a brace to make it a perfect result for Dempo. Yeah, it's been three, four matches that have been missing goals. It was a serious concern for me and the whole team because we've been playing very good. You know, the Dempo style of football, we've been dominating all the teams, but uh, we're missing a lot of chances, especially me. I'm happy that we got the goals. I'm more happy because we got the three points, which is very important. Churchill won yesterday. Mahindra has a game left, so it was uh, very important for us to win this match. But you still go into the break as top of the leaders uh, of the table. Do you think you can win the I-League now? It's too early to say it like this thing. Uh, with 13 matches more left, it's too early to say anything. But yeah, I think we are one of the most formidable sides. You know, Beto Renty still to come. One, one more foreigner we can take. The Indian boys are doing fantastic. I mean, you know, Dempo is, apart from me, the, the whole 10 boys were from Goa. So, and it shows the kind of uh, youth development we have in Dempo. So, I think I think we are one of the best teams. And uh, much too early to say anything. We just want to take match by match. Just want to concentrate in, in every match and do our best. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. The senior Indian football team will be playing two practice matches against club teams in Dubai this month. This is a part of 20-day training camp that begins on February 6th as preparation for the Asian Cup 2011. As an initiative of India head coach Bob Houghton, the 24-member Indian contingent will be travelling to Dubai for the fourth time. Speaking on the sidelines of Nike Manchester United Premier Cup India Finals, AIFF Secretary Alberto Colasso revealed the program. He also stressed on building up an Olympics team. Unfortunately, I have not been to Dubai, but uh, it is Bob's program and according to Bob's program, we are going to, they will be training every day. They have been to Dubai, this is the fourth time they are going to Dubai, so there's nothing new there. And uh, hopefully I had a meeting with Bob today and they will play two, um, two practice matches against club teams. No, it's still not decided. Bob is talking to the organizers of the tournament. And the good thing is also that Churchill is now playing in Dubai. So maybe the players will have an opportunity to see that match. Okay. Uh, well, any other future plans coming up from the AFF for the national players? The national players, we now practically have four teams at a time. You know, the under-19 team is that uh, playing the soft games. Basically, the under-23 team is going for the national uh, for the FC Challenge Cup. The senior national team is uh, its practices are starting on fourth. And besides that, we will have to build an Olympic team also. So it will be, there will be many teams and we hope to have a progression right from the under 13 up to the national team. A sports reporter from Mapsa Patterson Fernandez with video journalist Sunny Narvekar. The 27 Japan Karate Association National Karate Championship concluded at the Sports Authority of Goa's Indoor Stadium in Kampal on Tuesday. The tournament was organized by the Japan Karate Association of India. The performance of the Goan Karate Cars in the under-8 and under-12 age categories was promising. 
The three-day championship saw intense fighting in the kata and kumite championship for the top prizes. Karatekas from all over India took part in the event. In the under-8 kata category, Goa's Michel Istibero secured the silver medal, while in the under-10 kata and under-12 kumite category, Baloshka Pereira, Sachi Kolvalkar and Rakshakida Kamif secured a bronze medal each. In the under-12 kumite championship, Werner Fernandez, Waban Fernandez, and Omkar Shirokar secured bronze medals. Here are the highlights of the final day of the championship. Our sports reporter from Kampal, Noel D'Souza, with video journalist Ravinder Dalvi. Feast of Our Lady of Candelaria was celebrated at Pumurfa on Tuesday. This is one of the most ancient and famous feasts in Goa. Many people come to pay their vows and gratefulness to Our Lady of Candelaria. The feast is well known as Vatiche Fest. It is celebrated to bring light and love in one's life. What some of the clips captured by our reporter at Pumurfa, Shamsundar Fatte. And with this, I take your leave for now. Stay tuned to Prudent Media. Take care.